Hey everybody, I'm Laurie Voss, VP of Developer Relations at Llama Index. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Uh, today, I'm going to quickly introduce you to Llama Index, and in particular, its agentic capabilities. I'm going to talk about what it is, uh, what it can do for you, including retrieval, augmented generation, world-class document parsing, structured data extraction, and autonomous agents. So, what is Llama Index? It's a bunch of things. Start with the most obvious, we are a framework in both Python and TypeScript that helps you build generative AI applications. The Python framework is bigger and older, uh, and the TypeScript framework is growing fast. Both are obviously open source and free to use, but that's not all that we do. Llama Parse is a service from Llama Index that will parse complicate, complicated documents in any format into a form that can be understood by an LLM. This is critical. Uh, for a lot of LLM applications, because if your LLM can't understand what it's reading, you'll get nonsense results. Llama Parse will demonstrably improve what your app can do. Uh, and Llama Parse is also free to use for a thousand pages a day. You can sign up today at cloud.llamaindex.ai. Then there's Llama Cloud, our enterprise service. If what you want to do is stuff documents in one end and run retrieval augmented generation on the other end, without having to think about the stuff in the middle, this is the service for you. Llama Parse is a free part of Llama Cloud, but the full Llama Cloud service requires a subscription. You can get on the waitlist to try it out by following this link or this QR code. Then there's Llama Hub, our registry of free helper software. Need to connect to any database in the world? We got you. Want to get data out of Notion or Slack or Salesforce? No problem. Need to store your data in a vector store? We support them all. Want to use OpenAI, Mistral, Anthropic, or some other LLM? We support over 30 different LLMs, including local ones like Llama 3. Do you want to build an agent and you want some pre-built tools to do that? We have dozens of agent tools already built for you. So why should you use Llama Index? Because we will help you go faster. You're a developer, you have limited time, you have actual business and technology problems to solve. Don't get stuck figuring out the basics. We've solved a bunch of the foundational problems for you, so you can focus on being novel and interesting. Our focus as a platform is getting you into production, delivering actual business value. So let's talk about what this framework can actually do for you. I mentioned retrieval augmented generation or RAG, the basics of which I'm going to assume you already know. If not, this link will take you to a quick explanation in our documentation. There's a bunch of steps in a RAG application. First, you need to get your data from somewhere. Whether it's your file system, a database, or an API, our connectors will do all of that for you and turn them into compatible document objects so you don't need to figure out how to make them interoperable. The next step is parsing. We have a bunch of built-in parsers, but the real secret weapon, like I said, is Llama Parse. It's gonna take documents uh, that your LLM can't understand, like Word docs, PDFs, PowerPoints, Excel sheets, and turn them into data you can actually use. So don't sleep on how useful this is gonna be for you. Next, you have to embed your data. We can use third-party APIs like OpenAI to do this, or we can use local embedding models downloaded from Hugging Face. We provide a simple one-liner to do this. Once your data is embedded, you have to store it in a vector database. We integrate with every vector store that exists, so you don't have to learn all of the different APIs. We take care of that for you. To use your embedded data, you then need to query it. Llama Index will embed your query, find relevant chunks in your vector store, and return those chunks. You can then do all sorts of stuff to those chunks, like applying a re-ranker to further improve relevance. Your retriever is totally customizable. And then, usually what you want to do with the relevant chunks of data you've retrieved is send them to an LLM along with a query. There's lots of ways to do this, and we do all of them. We'll give you a query engine and take care of it for you. And of course, we don't just do this for text, we can do it for images as well. You can embed image data, query other images, and retrieve relevant images. If what you want to do is create a chatbot that talks to some documents, please, please don't build a chatbot from scratch. We have a one-liner called Create Llama. Just npx create llama, and that will generate a full stack chatbot application for you. It's extremely customizable and is a great starting point to build a full-featured and useful chatbot. 
By the way, if what you want to do is create a bot that chats with you on Slack, we've got one of those pre-built as well, so you don't have to do all the tedious of figuring out of how Slack's APIs work. But I said at the beginning, we're gonna be focusing on agents. You're not just going to build a RAG app. RAG is going to be part of the solution, but you're going to want to build agents because they produce better results than plain RAG, and they can do more than just answer queries. They can use tools. Llama Index has first-class support for agents. Tools are central to how agents work. And in Llama Index, uh, that's how you create an agent. In this example, I'm creating an agent from an arbitrary Python function. You give those tools to an LLM and it figures out how to use those tools to answer your question. But of course, tools don't have to be functions. They can also be query engines. All that effort we put into making RAG pipelines is super useful when making an agent that can query data and not just perform actions. Here's a demo I put together last week, which is fun and pretty relevant. It's a multi-agent concierge. There's one agent that knows how to authenticate you, another that knows how to check your bank balance, but it can only do that if you're authenticated. And there's another that knows how to transfer money, but it can only do that if you're authenticated and you've already checked your balance. The key to this system is the orchestration agent, which is another LLM under the hood. It works to decide which agent should answer your query. But sometimes these agents need to work in concert, like requiring authentication before you can check your balance. In that case, the orchestrator sends you to the authentication agent first. Once the authentication agent says you're authenticated, then an agent called a continuation agent looks at your chat history and decides what you were trying to do originally and sends you to the next agent, the balance checker. This is a really fun and useful pattern when creating a multi-agent system. We also last week released a new framework called Llama Agents. It's specifically for deploying multi-agent systems. It turns each agent into a web service for you, and it runs a message queue and an orchestrator for you, allowing you to develop and scale each agent independently and process many tasks in parallel. It comes with this nifty debugging tool that runs in your command line, but is somehow also a clickable GUI. Don't ask me how that works, it's magic, but it lets you see all your agents and what messages they're passing. Let's see how we go about using Llama agents. First, we create a tool for our agent to use. Then we create two agents by passing in a set of tools and then an LLM for the agent to use. So far, this is just like regular Llama index creating a tool. Next, we set up our message queue and two agent services, one on port agent 8002 and one on port 8003. We're doing these all in the same file, but we could do them separately if we wanted, so we could deploy them separately. And finally, we're ready for our control plane. It uses an LLM to do the orchestration between agents, so we pass that in, and we give it, a ref give it the references to our agents, and then we launch it. We can monitor it using that nifty GUI by launching the, mo the monitor from the command line. And that's it. You've got your, your agents deployed and ready, and you can add all the tools and functionality you want and as many agents as you need. We look forward to seeing all the stuff you build and hope to catch you again on our channel next time. Thanks for your time and attention.